All right, more homemade instrument videos from me. Um, this time I'll be showing off my second uh, fretless Appalachian Mountain style banjo. Um, I'll later on I'll show you my first one that I built. Uh, this one I kind of built with some improvements from the first. Uh, <clears throat> start with the neck. The neck is some uh, hard maple that I got that. Uh, Got a Menards. It's a Menards. In case y'all ain't from the Midwest, it's a home improvement store, kind of like Lowe's or Home Depot that they have in the Midwest. But uh, it's a maple board I got from them. It's actually uh, three pieces glued together on the neck here. Um, I don't know if you can see the glue lines or not, but uh, I made this kind of like I did with my banjo ukulele, where I. And I took a flat board and uh, I sawed it into three pieces and took those pieces and turned them up on end, glued them together, and that way I was able to get me a neck blank that had quarter sawn grain in it, would give a little bit more strength and everything. Probably don't really need it on this, but um, I done it anyway. But glued a couple ears onto the headstock to make the headstock with there. Um, it's pretty pretty standard stuff here as far as the neck construction goes. Nothing too earth shaking here. Um, the body is uh, two pieces of half inch red oak to make the front and the back. Um, I'd rather, rather not use red oak because I'm not really a big fan of it but uh, it's the only thing I could find at the place there. It was in a half inch thickness. Uh, my last banjo I made, I made a, a top and bottom, a top and back out of poplar, and I, I, I couldn't. My bandsaw is not big enough to resaw it, and uh, I don't have a planer or anything. I do all my thickness and surfacing with hand planes, so uh, it takes a when you're when you're hand resawing and hand plane, it takes a long time to do it, so I just was trying to look for something that was already half inch thick, so that's what they have is red oak. Um, center ring is uh, some Douglas fir, it's uh, some tongue and groove flooring that I had that uh, sandwiched together to make the little center ring on here. The uh, the interior tone ring here is a, it's a like a round square sided bowl that I found at Goodwill. It just happened to be exactly six inches, which was the head size I was wanting. Um, so I stuck and sawed the bottom off that bowl, made my tone ring in here. Um, the head is a six inch Remo uh, fiber skin drum head that I put on there. Um, I just got uh, a recess in the top here where that, that drum head, the ring of it, rests against. And then the, the tone ring presses up against there and tensions that head as you tighten the you know the front and the back together. The front and the back together they're held they're held together with uh, some machine bolts instead of wood screws. I just figured I'd give it a little bit more strength and everything. Got the nuts recessed on the back here, and then uh, you know the the screw screw heads on the front of it. <clears throat> Got the um, Strings. I didn't even build a tailpiece for this one. I just anchored the strings into here and uh, drilled some holes through there and tied knots on the end. Turned out pretty good. Rather, rather, uh, rather than having a separate tailpiece, I like it pretty well. The the bridge is a piece of maple that I had left over from the neck. That I made into a bridge. <coughs> Got the um, fifth string nut. We got a machine screw, a little, or not a machine screw, a little wood screw that I put in there in the fretboard and smoothed the slot out. And I've got all the burrs off. The uh, main nuts, a piece of Corian countertop material. The tuners on the headstock, they're uh, some of the uh, the Grover. Uh, this marking was banjo and uh, baritone ukulele tuners. They're just like a ukulele friction tuner, basically, with a longer shaft on them. Uh, last banjo I made, I had the the violin pegs in there, and they were they're kind of a pain sometimes to tune and everything. And I just kind of wanted to you know, have a little modern touch on this, so I put those friction tuners on there. They they work really good. And I've got a geared 
fifth string peg. I don't really like his geared fifth string pegs. It, it really looks silly on there, I think. But uh, I was just trying to get away from the the tapered friction pegs, the violin pegs. So that's what I come up with. I'd like to replace it with something eventually. Uh, we've got Aquila Nile gut strings on there. Um, the uh, classical Nile gut strings, the ones that can go up to full tension. Um, turned out pretty good though. I'm not really like it. I got a couple of store bought banjos that <coughs> I don't play nearly as much as this. Um, still having, having trouble getting used to the, the hang of the, the fretless deal. You know, I'm kind of learning where to put my fingers. but. Give you all a sound sample of it here so you can hear what it sounds. It's a little original tune that I made up. It's starting out sounding pretty good. It's uh, got, a, got a whole lot different tone on a steel string, regular store bought banjo. I like it a lot. It's got a got a old timey plunky sound to it, and that suits me just fine. I'm, I plan on building another one. Um, next time I build, I'm gonna try to make just I'm gonna make a the body just have a three quarter inch thick top, three quarter inch thick bottom, and the middle part three quarter inch thick. I got some more of these. Uh, wooden bowls that I bought. bought three of them there at Goodwill. I'm going to use that for a tone oh. ring. And I'm going to try it with a uh, three-quarter inch top see what happens. That, I built two of these with half-inch thick tops and they always crack right here when you when you tension them down. Uh, so I, I don't see any reason why you can't build a build one with a three-quarter inch thick top. I'm going to give that a try. Uh, I'll make sure make a video of that when I get it done. i got some other projects that i got on the Got on the fire right now, so that one's on the back burner. But I'll make sure and put a video of it up whenever I get it done. Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, stay tuned. Bye.